Hey, Sonograver here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Logic Pro demo where I will show you automation for your pitch bending purposes. If you use a MIDI keyboard controller or a controller of any kind that has a wheel that modulates up and down a semitone or a whole step, you might want to smoothen out those lines. And the way to do that is to record and automate. So let's go ahead and do that. I will be playing some material at bar nine here. All right, let's go ahead and take it away. So you can hear that that last note had a pitch bend going down. And you can see some of those lines here. So let me just take a moment and clean up a little. I will start with applying a velocity value for all of them, the same velocity value. Command Option Shift can bring all of them down or up to the same velocity. Let me go ahead and do 60 for all of them. just to make sure that the tone is nice and consistent. All right, not bad, not bad. Almost quantized and, and the quantization is off. So that's, that's pretty cool. I must've been practicing. So we've got our one note right here as you can hear the drop off, as you can see it here. Let me bring this back and We'll switch on the automation. You can press this icon here to show it, or you can simply use shortcut A. And as you can see here, we have our volume control and all these controls here for your MIDI data and two things used, the note velocity, which I had just performed, uh, by bringing all the MIDI data pieces to 60, and also pitch bend. And pitch bend is the thing we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can see that we've got that wheel turning down. So we've got these values here, negative 2, negative 14, negative 26, going all the way down to the bottom there to negative 64, I believe. Now remember, MIDI data is 0 to 127, or 128 pieces of information. We start at 0, or it's starting at negative 2 right now. I'll probably bring it up to 0. And going down to the negative 63 or 64, that's going down in pitch. Going up 63 or 64, that's going up in pitch. So 0 is right at the middle of the 128 values. So I'm going to grab the first one here. And you can see how it spiked up. That was me letting go of that wheel there. So I'll clean that up as well. I'm going to drag that first one. Actually, I'm going to drag that first one to zero. Right at the middle, right at that original pitch. I believe that was G if you're curious. And then I'm going to take the second value down and I'm just going to drag it all the way to the end of that data, actually and beyond just to get rid of that spike. Pay no attention to those icons popping up. <laughs> and so now we have just a nice straight gradual descension in pitch. Let's see what that sounds like. good, but I don't like the straight pitch. I actually like a gradual ramp before an acceleration down or a very fast acceleration at the start of that note. 
Let's try using the automation curve tool. Holding down option, you can see the icon pop up. And we'll just, yeah, I've got to force it a little bit. Likes to mess with you just a little bit there. Could be my computer, I don't know. But now you can see a slow, slow start before a speedy drop down. Let's hear how that sounds. Not really a fan of the timing there. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna drag this to bar 16. You can drag however short, however long you need. You could start right at that pitch. Let's see how that sounds just to give you some context. That's not that bad as, as far as an effect. It, it doesn't really work with a music piece like this, but you get the idea. And how about something quite swift? So you hear it at the very tail. Not that effective. We can also, I think I like to start here and then let's do a swift motion followed by a slow motion, if it'll let me. There we go. So that gradual descension in pitch was actually not so gradual. It was quite fast. Uh, let's move this up and see what that sounds like. So now we have that slow, gradual motion. Actually, excuse me, it's a, it's a rather fast start, and then it's kind of tapering as it's ascending. Not the best, but you get the point. So that is smoothing out your lines. Yeah, I think I'll stop there. Thank you for watching and listening and always be on the lookout for some more sound experimentation every Thursday and a live commentary every Monday nights around 9.30 Eastern time. And until I see you next, keep producing the art you love and I'll talk to you later. Thanks again.